Hey, yeah, Mac, it's me, Martin. Listen, you gonna go for a run? At the beach, yeah, yeah. In a couple of minutes? I'm ready to leave in a couple of minutes. You? But I mean a couple of minutes, Mick. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm leaving, bye-bye. Hey, guys, you ready? We're locking up, come on. Take care, guys, see you later, take care. Take it easy, guys. Don't get in any trouble, Joe. I know these guys. Weekend Warriors? My ass. That'll be the day. Dragon Kung Fu Club.
four, five, six, up! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down! One, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down and hold. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we're going for a month. That's what you get when you take two girls along. Hey, wait a second, mister. This little bag belongs to me, and that van is loaded with mixed up. No, nah, it can't be. What do I need all this stuff for? Come on. Are we ready to roll? Think so? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let's stop at our spot for some coffee. Sounds good. Follow us. Every time I follow him, I get in trouble. <laughs> real lonely up on the island. You know, with all the girls you guys bring up there, that's a joke. What girl? I don't see any. Just guys and drag. <laughs> I should look so good in drag. Okay, what are you having? Just a coffee. Coffee's black. Coffee. Hey, give the little boys milk and cookies. Hey, guys. Cool it. Hey. You better drink your milk and cookies, boys, so you grow up nice and strong. <laughs> the guy looks like a Mack truck. Shut your mouth. Hey, you. Apologize for calling me a Mack truck. I drive a Mack truck. Maybe I'll drive you. Sure, I apologize, Mr. Mack truck. Apologize properly. Sorry, jackass. Coming in kitties first? Outside, please, guys. The boy's gonna be a lot smaller when we're finished with you.
Confucius say, when fighting truckers, nail the suckers. <laughs> hey, Sue, are you sure you don't want to come with us? No, thanks. I've had my fun for the day. Shall we go, madame? Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> Step right in. Hey, boys. Aren't you little kiddies supposed to be in school? <laughs> what do you think, boys? Are they twins or is one just a reflection? Forget it, Mick. We're on holidays. Let it go. Oh, the Bobsy twins don't want to play. Not today. Stay out of our way and we'll stay out of yours. Don't bet on it.
Maybe in the future you'll remember to keep your filthy hands to yourself. You okay, Tessa? Yeah, I'm okay. I must admit that creep shook me up for a while, but I'm okay now. Who are they? The lead guy's name is Jake. He brings up his yahoos every summer to the play army. They give some of the codgers up here a rough time. Well, why hasn't somebody done something about them? They tried once. What happened? They just disappeared, vanished. No one could prove anything. I'll get you, bastards! Lots of sun tanning. Hmm, I'll buy that. Cliff diving? Sounds possibilities. Nature hiking. Can't wait to get some pictures. You gonna see any wildlife? Yeah, there's two big horny wolves on the island. <laughs> yeah, Mick and Martin. Oh, <laughs> well, they're quite tame, you know. You just have to be kind to them. Raise your glasses, girls. Let's make a toast. Okay. To what? A beautiful holiday. Hey. Another toast to the brave soldier wooden in action and to the girl who beat the hell out of him. <laughs> right on. Just around the bend. Great. What's a cottage like? It's not a cottage, it's just a cabin. Oh. We built it ourselves. Nothing fancy, no running water, no electricity. There it is, Twin Island. You rough it up here, but when the cabin is warm and dry, you got it made. Okay, everybody say cheese. One, two, cheese. Cheese. Great. Sleep now, you won't be able to sleep tonight. Come on, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Are they coming? Breakfast is ready. They want it in bed. Oh, they'll get it. It won't be breakfast. Good morning. Sleep well? I slept like a baby. I tell you, I don't miss the city one bit. You guys were right. Roughing it up here really lets you know you're alive. I feel great. We'll be paddling all day.
Okay, jackass. Pick someone your own size. Draw. Now. Speaking of size, sonny. No time somebody knocked you down a peg or two. I think I'm the man to do it. Here's a little something to remember me by. Uh. Any more smart moves like that and it's gonna be game over. We've got more important army business to take care of right now. Or I finish this right now my way. And after business, a little pleasure. Right, ladies? Okay, cute stuff. Stay pretty. I'll see you around. <laughs> Okay. I think so. You? Yeah. Mickey, you okay? Yep. I'll uh, Let's go. Don't let this sport have fun. Forget it. It's gonna be easier said than done. Get the ladder. out. Let's take it to the waterfall by lunch. shooting starts. Oh, man, am I enjoying this. Feels like we've been up here a week already. How long has it been, anyway? Well, this is day four. Three more to go, and the living is easy. <laughs> That's for sure. A lot easier without those army idiots. Hey, guys. You promised us a surprise a couple of days ago. How about it? Yeah, what about it? Come on, give. All right, okay. How's tomorrow night's on? Nick, did you hear that? Yeah. Gunshot. Way up in the swamp. No, not the soldiers. No, no, no. It's probably a poacher. What makes you so sure? Mick and I have feeding stations on this island for deer. And besides, who'd be up this time of year with a small caliber rifle? Yeah. And there's only one guy that knows about our feeding stations. Barefoot Grant. Oh, you should see this guy. Long, dirty blonde hair, a lumberjack coat, and no shoes. <laughs> yeah, he never takes a bath. He says he wants to smell like nature. <laughs> hey, but there's a guy that knows more about the bush than anybody I've ever met. I bet he's got a couple of flunkies with him. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. Hey, we'll probably be back after dark, so build a fire and stay close to it. Why, army guys? No, wolves. Oh. Can't be serious. Just stay close to the fire. Okay, you guys. Be careful. No problem. Grant's our friend. He's taught us everything about the bush, wildlife, nature, everything. That's him, all right. Let's go find him. Leroy lost deer, Grant. Leroy lost that deer. Fault there. It was not my fault. I'm not going to advise to go around there. Go around there. You see. Don't yell at him. He looks like he missed. Grant doesn't like to miss. He looks mad. Let's go up ahead and intercept those two. Right. Then we'll come back. We'll have some fun with Grant. Okay. I married your sister because you said you'd shoot me if I didn't. Well, that's what you get when you get a roll. Come on, you sucker. I'm uh -oh. going to skin you like a uh -oh. bear. Oh. Nice, nice. Make a good souvenir. Hey, 
Let's take one of the shoes. Turn around, poacher. Hey, miss. Leroy. You know what we do to poachers? We we'll kill them. Leave them for the snakes. You can't kill me. I haven't killed anything. I think we'll kill you anyway. You can't kill me. This island belongs to the twins. What twins? Mick and Marty McNamara. The toughest guys in the world. <laughs> you hear that, Mick? Sure did, Martin. <laughs> Silly buggers, how, how you, you doing? doing? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> haven't seen you for a long time. How you doing? Not bad. You sure had me going there for me. It scared the hell out of me. You won't be killing any more of our deer now, will you? Me? You know me better than that. Yeah, we know you all right. <laughs> uh, by the way, your uh, two apprentices won't be coming back right away. My two apprentices? They're only half as good as you. What do you mean half as good? We're only wearing one shoe, Grant. We got them. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, quite a sight, huh? It's too good to resist. I know exactly what you're thinking. Let's do it. Lord, my soul to keep in your angels watching over me. Do that one again, that was a good one. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you start. All day, all night, and all the angels watching over me, my Lord. Pray the Lord, my soul to keep. Did you hear that? Shh. Oh. Where's the axe? Okay, don't panic. As long as we're close to the fire, we're all right. What in the hell are you trying to do? Hey. Just us two, horny wolves. Hey, I brought you a present. Great, a knife. What am I supposed to do with this? Clean fish? It's protection. In case you're attacked by wolves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Martin, you're a regular riot. <laughs> I think they're still mad at us. No, don't be so mad. They were only fooling. I know, but it wasn't funny. Oh, God, get loaded this. Come on, join us for breakfast. After what you guys did last night, you don't deserve to have breakfast with us. We were just fooling around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, relax. We didn't mean to scare the hell out of you. What do you think? All right, okay. <laughs> Come on, guys. I want to go swimming. So go swimming. We've got work to do. So join us. There's the water. Swim. Why aren't we the gentlemen? Us gentlemen have got work to do. Oh. Go swimming. Enjoy it. Come on, Martin.
gonna be cold. The guys are still chopping. Unbelievable. Look at all the wood they've cut. Oh, for <laughs> you girls are getting your surprise in a couple of hours. Oh, goody, goody. I wonder what it is. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> How's the water? It's cold. No, it's not. <laughs> Mick, you got everything? I got the equalizer. You got yours? Right here. Do we have far to walk? About a mile. Yeah, but won't it get dark soon? Sure, but the trail's marked with reflectors. You can't miss them with a flashlight. Come on, let's go. Wait to see what this is all about. <laughs> Be blind too. Hey, great. What's it for? Come on, we'll show you. This way, ladies. No way, I'm not climbing up that thing. What are you waiting for? An elevator? We can't wait around. Come on, get up. It's just a little close in here, huh? Welcome to the sardine convention. <laughs> well, now what? Oh, come on, this is hardly a place for a party. We may be able to get some good photos before dark. Of what? Mosquitoes? Oh, I thought you told me there were no bears on this island! Shh. Quiet, look.
sure took his time eating. Yeah, like all night. That's one night you won't forget. considering a little uh, incident with the bear. I thought it was going to have nightmares for sure. I guess the guys are still fishing. Yeah? You better catch something too. I'm starving. Oh. Well, if you'll excuse me, nature's calling. Don't you just love outdoor plumbing? Don't meet any bears in there. Uh-huh. I'm gonna grab a shower. Tell me they're still sleeping. Hey, girls, feel like a fish fry? They can't be sleeping. They didn't finish their tea. It's cold. They didn't take the boats or saw the dark. Didn't even make us a cup of coffee. You know what I think? Yeah, they're playing some kind of joke to get even with us. I bet you right now they're sitting in the bush somewhere laughing and giggling, waiting for us to do something stupid. Yeah, well, let them wait. Let's go clean the fish. Listen up, man. The twins are going to come for us as soon as they discover the ladies are missing. What they don't know is how well prepared we are for them. So remember, shoot first, ask questions later, if you know what I mean. Sir. Yes, soldier. When we kill the twins, what do we do with the broads? We're all going to be very nice to the ladies. And after we're tired with them, they too will have a most unfortunate accident. And the nicer they are to us, the longer they live. Take a good look, ladies. The next time you see those two, they'll be dead. Them come to us. Sir, 
Something happened. The girls are not back yet. Nah, wait till it gets dark. I'll come running home. Doesn't Soldier Jake smoke these things? Check the cabin. Our poster's gone. Must be the soldiers. Damn it, you know what they might do to the girls? Yeah, I can imagine, but it's us they want. Bastards. They aren't waiting for hunting season either. We better get the girls before those creeps do a number on them. Look, they'll be waiting for us, Martin. There's only one way in, up the river. Let's surprise the hell out of them. We'll hit and run until we're sure we can get the girls out safely. Look, there's an old logging room. We'll load up the three wheelers. Take us about a mile from their camp, and we can cut through the bush. Let's do it. This won't kill him, so just put him down. men stay and guard the perimeter of home base. The rest of us will be at the riverside.
space camp. Damn it, they're not as stupid as they look. Let's go back to Jake's cabin and give him something to think about. Right. Let's let him know we're here. Come on. the river like we thought. They'd come overland. Spread the word down the line. Approach the camp slowly. The men at both ends of the line circle wide and come in from behind. To you guys, I know you had orders to hang around. This is stupid. Some soldiers, you guys are supposed to stand guard. <laughs> to wait till our scouts come up from the rear. Your heroes have signed their death warrant. Scout one, scout two, come in. Scout one, scout two, come in. They're all tied up at the moment. Is there any message? Who the hell is this? Where are my men? We got them, and we'll keep them hanging around until we get the girls back unharmed. No deal, Sonny. Keep the men. Come and get the broads. I dare you. Okay, but stay awake. I wouldn't want you to die in your sleep. Who surprised whom? As long as we've got you, we'll get them. Oh! I like it when you fight back. After we're through with the twins, remind me to slap you around some more. Come on, men. Take the broads, and we'll double back to the river camp.
Okay, hold it. You. Hands up. Nice and slow. Oh, man. Don't make any quick moves. I just love to shoot you. Right? Oh. Oh. Come in, 821. Come in, 821. Do you read me? Over. Good afternoon. You wouldn't be looking for the three men you left on the island near the river delta, would you? Bastards. I demand to know what you've done to my men. Eight down, 12 to go. Nothing will happen to them as long as the girls are safe. You two guys have pushed your luck to the limit. We're waiting for you. I'm sure we're surprised. Those two jerks have gone far enough. When they show up, so help me. If you miss, I'll shoot you myself. The smoke will clear. <coughs> you three, go up the river and watch the hill. <coughs> the rest of you men, back to the base camp. <coughs> Swim? Then get out. Go. Get, get out of here. Ten down. Ten to go. Let's move out of here. We'll go back to the base camp. They won't look for us back there. Let's not make it easy for them. Jim Paul, you take her. You go that way. We'll meet you there later. Let's go. I'm 
I'm going to get those two guys. This looks like a good spot. Huh? Relax. It's a little fun. Guns. Now! Nancy, get those guns. Never thought I'd see the light of day again, let alone you two. You. You win. What are you going to do with us? Jake, all war should end this way. What's this? Two against seven? You guys don't win it quick. We'll take those hearts. A little pressure will take to kill her. Now back off. Carl, get up here. Move it. Sorry, guys. But you'll never take me alive. 
She's my insurance. So she comes with me. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, I got a plane to catch. I'll be back. With a bigger army. Better trained. There'll be a bounty on you. I'll make bookends out of you. Carl, run ahead and get things started. Sorry to spoil the fun and leave early. Don't follow. I'll let her go when I'm safe. How can we trust you? You can't. Tom, please! Stop! <laughs> Look, stay cool. Shoot anything that moves, okay? Thank <laughs> you. 